Hello, my name is Brian Robinson and I'm with Summit Marine and Marine Digital Integrators. Today I'm on a Pathfinder 26 and I've got a C-Zone digital switching system and an integrated Garmin display on this boat. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how the switch panel, which has a variety of switches on it, nav lights, bilge pump, courtesy lights, how all of those switches are integrated into the Garmin display. So to get started, it's just like any conventional boat. You need to turn on the battery switch and everything will start up. So here we go. So now that I've turned on the battery switch, the display will start booting up and so will C-Zone. As soon as C-Zone wakes up, you're gonna see the blue LEDs and the hard top lights come on and we do this automatically. The idea here is if this is a nighttime application and you've turned on your battery switch, as the system's waking up, we're gonna turn on those lights. At the same time that, that the Garmin screen is booting up, you're gonna have access to turn on any circuit that's controlled through the switch. So if I take this button and hit my light switch, I'm gonna be able to turn off those overhead lights. And now if I turn on my screen, I'm gonna have access to all those same switches on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my cockpit lights and my overhead light from the screen doing the same thing that I would have done from the button. So now once you're using the system you're going to have the availability to turn on circuits on either case. You can also pick these pages, you can pick these switches on other pages. So to start with one of the most important switches in my mind is the bilge pump. So in this case, if I manually turn the bilge pump on, I'm simply toggling this switch in the up position. And if you'll notice on the screen, the bilge pump button is illuminated as well. They're working together. I can turn that same switch off from the screen and it also turns, on the bilge, turns off the bilge pump. So these two buttons are working together. A similar function will be the first button, which is our nav, nav light switch. If I hit the button once, you're gonna notice that the nav and anchor light circuits are on. You're going to see on the side of the boat your nav and anchor circuit light are on. But now if I want to toggle to anchor light, I simply hit the switch one more time. And in this case, I'm turning on the nav light, but leaving on the anchor light. And lastly, I can hit that switch one more time and I've cycled all the way through it. So you've gone to nav anchor, to anchor, and then to off. Equally, you can turn on and off those circuits from the screen independently. So if I just want my anchor light on, turn it on from the screen, no problem. Turn it off as well. Same thing with nav lights. When I turn on the nav light circuit, I'm actually getting both the nav light and the anchor light to turn on. So again, the idea is from the screen, you have access to any button and any circuit you want. From the switch panel, we just have a few hot buttons that are important. So starting from left to right, we've got nav anchor, then we've got bilge, then you have a light circuit. Similar to the nav anchor circuit, the light switch is controlling multiple lights with one touch. So the idea here is if you're on the boat and you want to light the boat up, you've got one switch, it's going to turn on your overhead lights, your compartment lights, and your under gunnel courtesy lights. Hit it again, it turns them off. As with the nav lights, you're gonna have independent control of those same lights. This is the compartment lights forward that we can show you here in a minute. And then any one of those lights are gonna work from the switch, either or, turning them on and off. The next button on the switch panel is our live well switch. The live well switch is gonna control all three live well pumps at the same time. So again, like with the lights, if I get on the boat and hit one switch, all my live wells are going to start. I can turn them all on and start filling. If I only want one or two of those, I can simply turn off the, the pumps that I don't want, leaving the, the pump on that I do want. This button here is live well one, but it also controls the live well lights in all of the live well tanks. So once I turn on the live well one, I'm also engaging the live well light circuits. So if I want to engage two and three separately, I can, but those lights will already be on. The next switch on the switch panel is actually an accessory switch that is put here for you, the owner, to be able to add any circuit that you want without having to worry about tapping into C-Zone. 
This switch, working with your Pathfinder dealer, is going to allow you to add a circuit of your choice. Lastly, we've got a circuit of, or a, a button for our horn circuit, and this is a momentary switch. If you hit the button, you're going to engage the horn. That is also separate to C-Zone and independent on that switch. One point that I didn't cover is the nav anchor switch. When you are engaged in the nav navigational mode, you have light backlighting on the switch panel, giving you ve better visibility of each one of those functions. When you scroll to the anchor mode, those lights are, are distinguished, but your anchor light is still on. That same functionality is available to you when you turn on the navigational light from the screen, you're still getting backlighting on the switch panel. One of the unique features of C-Zone and Garmin is the dimming control feature that is available on each of the lighting buttons on this boat. So for example, your forward spreader light, I've got an, an individual button for forward spreader. When I turn it on, the light is gonna turn on at full power. And once it's on, if I hold the button down, the light is gonna to begin to dim, can release my finger. At that point, the light is dimmed at that position. If I wanna increase it, I can put my finger back on it. It's gonna increase the intensity of the light. I can raise it all the way back up to all the way full or at some position below that. And then I can just hit it again if I wanna quickly turn it off. So the dimming control functions are set so that you can turn the light on, then dim it up or down depending on what intensity you want. This is available on both the forward and, and aft spreader. You also got it available to you on your cockpit under gunnel lights. So this cockpit light as well, when I turn it on, it's gonna start up at full power, and then I can begin to dim the light by holding the button down, stop where I like it, dim it back up, or at any one position, I can just go ahead and turn that light off. In addition to that light, which is an, the overhead light, also has this button control. So you can turn the light on, dim it, up again, or turn it off. To help matters, if you get on the boat, you've just come back from, a, or just got off the dock and you just get on the boat, we've added a circuit called mood lighting. And that's basically taking both spreader lights and the cockpit under gunnel light and turning those on at 50%. So the lights come on, and if you'll notice, these three lights are being turned on, but we're setting them at a pre-dimmed position. So again, that's mood lighting, and turn it on or off from the screen. Up to this point, we've been switching circuits from Garmin's main switch page. So to kind of help you navigate through the different pages in Garmin where switches are available, I'm gonna show you if you go back to home, on the right side here, you have a selection of different groups of pages. The main switch page, for C-Zone is located on the AV gauges control page. So from this tab, and it's highlighted, you can get to the switch page and you have all the circuits. If you go back to home and we pick combos, you have access to all the combos and a unique feature with Garmin is it allows you to create combos that also have switch pages. So having a chart or a depth page on half of it and yet giving yourself switching on the other side of the page. In addition to having switching, you can customize what buttons are on this page. So basically you can add lighting circuits or pump circuits to match whatever page you're on. In this case, with my chart page, I've added all of our lights and all of our pumps. If I wanna to go to other circuits that are not on this page, I can go back to home, AV gauge, and have all the circuits available to me. So lastly, one of the most interesting features that I find with Garmin is they're allowing us to create a overlay on the top or the bottom. You can set this through your screen and that these unique buttons, which we called a mode, which earlier I showed you it was mood lighting. We could turn on lights at different levels. Well, mood lighting is now available and this bar is customizable. So your Pathfinder dealer can help you program customized buttons in addition to mood lighting. Mood lighting is standard with this boat, but if you wanted to add a fishing mode or some other mode of uh, easy switching, you could have it at the top of this bar and from your standard chart page or your depth page, you can have one button push and have access to those circuits. One of the most important features that C-Zone provides 
is that it allows you to override any circuit that it controls in the boat. The purpose is that in case you get into a problem at sea, you're out in a bay and you've lost power to your, your Garmin screen or your switch panel, and you still want to be able to control a circuit, the C-Zone module has override functionality allowing you to turn on the circuit directly from the module. So in this case, we're going to remove a lid and we're going to be able to move a fuse to turn on any light, any pump, so that you can get back to the dock safely. So I'm going to reach down in here and I'm going to remove the lid and show you how to override a circuit. So if I want to access the override features in the box, the first thing to do is to remove the lid. And this is our water protection cover lid. And we'll remove it from the top of C-Zone. So if you'll see here on this label, it's telling us the individual circuits that we're controlling through C-Zone. So if we run into a, an issue electrically and we want to be able to override any one of these circuits, we simply have to remove the fuse and put it in its override position. So in this case, I'm going to show forward spreader light. So if I look here, I have a circuit called forward spreader light, and right above it is a fuse. So to override it, I remove the fuse from its current position, and then I take the fuse and I put it in override. So now that fuse is directly connected to the battery source and it's powering the light outside of C-Zone. This is acting as the switch and it's providing your circuit protection that you need. This is available on any one of these circuits. Once you've resolved the problem or gotten back to the dock, you can remove the fuse and put it back at its original position. So these are just a few of the features that are available on this Pathfinder 26 with C-Zone digital switching and the Garmin interface. To learn more, contact your Pathfinder dealer and thank you for watching.